Zoom in on Rail Baltica. How is Rail Baltica designed? What happened approximately 100 years ago? Newspaperman Garrett Morgan introduced the first three-position traffic signal. Henry Ford's Model T dominated the sales charts, and cars became within reach for many consumers. And plenty of inventions revolutionized the rail industry, many of which we still use today. For example, centralized traffic control, railway air conditioning, electric traction allowed to increase the efficiency of train movement and reduced air pollution. We don't know what great things the future will bring, but we know the railway we're building will last for the next 100 years, and it all starts with design. There are three stages in the Rail Baltica design process. In the preliminary or conceptual design phase, we determine the basic corridor of the high-speed line, develop preliminary technical solutions, and carry out an environmental impact assessment. First, we map out the existing situation in the vicinity of the railway, what the ground profile is, how land plots are laid out, where communications run, and what existing structures and systems are already in place. Geotechnical and geodetic investigations help engineers make critical decisions, like choosing Using the type of foundation or crossing solution, hydrological and meteorological investigations are also important. The railway will have to withstand floods and frost heaves, so we predict all possible extremes. When master design begins, the main details are discussed and the output becomes the foundation for construction work procurement. Additional environmental impact assessments are carried out. We want a railway that's fit for the future and fits in with the environment, so we examine factors like wildlife, noise, energy use, cultural heritage, ambient air, surface water and groundwater. This involves monitoring mammals, birds and amphibians, their migration paths and breeding areas. Don't forget the International Union of Railways and EU Railway Standards. We make sure all railway elements are sustainable and account for climate change estimates in the region. Finally, we get to the detailed technical design phase. Our project managers merge all the information together. Critical stakeholders provide their input and approvals. Then the exact amounts of construction elements and indicative construction costs are detailed. The result is then handed off to contractors and becomes a script for construction. Take note, while these three stages can vary slightly by country, the result and effort stay consistent. And there you have it, the Rail Baltica design story. Well, the short version of it, because the work never really stops. Strategic stakeholders and partners, from municipalities to environmental institutions at regional, national and EU level, all continue shaping the future of infrastructure in the Baltics and beyond.